You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, ready to check out Recoil. I do want to say thanks to Skyrocket LLC for sending this set to me to check out on video. It is the multiplayer starter set with the Wi-Fi Game Hub. This is for ages 12 plus. You're going to need plenty of batteries. It looks like 12 of them. And uh, Bluetooth-enabled devices, which are going to be hooked up to your blasters. And that's the only way you can really play this game. So, plays like a real-life first-person shooter video game. Recoil is the best laser tag system built yet. And that was right here. Under this recoil is a hit. Now, you also see way on the bottom, there are 4, 8, 12, 16 players you can go. Uh, at one time on the battlefield. So that looks really interesting. When I come back then, I'm going to flip this around because it is a giant box. I will be right back. All right, here is the full panel on the box, but it's really hard to read everything. So what I'm going to do is go section by section here, but I wanted to give you a brief overview of what you're looking at. Now, if you look at the bottom middle, you will see the person's phone is attached to the blaster. So you will need a screen to see what's going on. And then uh, the starter kit down here includes two blasters in the hub. So let me read this first section to you. All right, here we go. The world is now game. Turn any location into an immersive GPS-enabled battlefield. Feel the explosive rush of first-player shooter gaming in the real world. Arm yourself with the most advanced weaponry. Join elite fellow fighters in squad-based combat as the world around you becomes an interactive battlefield. The most immersive battle experience ever begins here. Join the revolution. Next panel. Technology meets firepower. Gear up with AR-enhanced, smartphone-enabled weaponry. Feel the kickback of your weapon as 3D positional audio lets you hear exactly where your enemy fire is coming from. Very interesting. All right, the battle is everywhere. Recoil's GPS-enabled technology dynamically maps your game into the real world. Know where every player is on the map, track every movement, complete objective integrated into the world around you. All right. First-person shooter with up to 16 players. Hmm. Multiplayer first-person shooter game types brought to real life. Connect up to 16 players for competitive modes like skirmish, team skirmish, and search and destroy. Use voice chat to coordinate attacks or taunt your enemy. Ooh, all right, cool. So let's do this now. We have checked out the packaging. I'm going to get this out of the box. We'll open it up and learn more about it. All right, I thought it'd be fun to kind of do this with you just because, I don't know, it's kind of exciting to open a giant box like that. You will see my paperwork is folded on the end. That's probably not normal. It must have somehow slipped down. There's some paperwork there. Let's get this out here. Okay, so I have enough to check out here. It looks like it opens from the front. All right, nicely laid out and packaged in there. So I don't have to worry about anything shifting around or breaking in any way. Check it out. Let's just see. These are flexi bands, but they will need to be cut. That's kind of neat. You can almost just hang that right on your wall just like that. So let me cut these. And we'll just get them out of the package. Blaster number one. And they have got some really good weight to them, by the way. You think it feels like a Nerf gun, but it's probably two or three times the weight. That's the electronics, that's for sure. And then this little device looks like some kind of charging port. Just by looking at it, this does anyway. And then this is our hub. Okay, let me just lay them out here. Okay, so there that is. So I'm going to have to get a bunch of batteries. Really nice feel to that. Okay, and then this looks like the piece that goes on. Oh, so there's two of those that go on to your weapon to hold your device. I'll be curious to see, depending on your phone size, how that all fits. Now you get this black thing. I don't know what that is. There's two of those, actually. What do you think that is? 
And then you get this new game. Let's see, ages 12 and up. Oh, this looks like a... For use with the recoil starter set. So there is a frag grenade. I hear that's already out on the market. So that's an optional item. Troubleshooting issues. If you run into that. And that's really about it. So that is the grenade. We don't have that. And then here is my packet. So damage sensors. Ah, so these are your damage. That's what it says right on there. Damage sensors. There must be, okay, these little black things are sensors. I noticed that there's one here. There's one here. Okay. Not down there. That's where something plugs in. Okay, maybe this. We will see. It looks like it. And then that, this is your Wi-Fi game hub. And as we said, these are your phone mounts. Also available, here's another one, the SR12 Rogue Recoil Weapon sold separately. So I need to get 12 AA batteries and follow all of this to get this set up. And then I'm going to grab another phone. I want to at least hook two and see how they sync and all of that. Here's some more troubleshooting for this. So let me do that, grab some batteries, grab a second device, and see how this all syncs up and check it out. Okay, here we go, let's do the hub first. Should be pretty simple, one screw. It almost looks like it's a two-piece system that this would come out, but it does not. It is locked in. Yes, you probably noticed my giant tablet here. I thought it'd be funny showing up to the battlefield with that. Now, of course, it does not. Fit. I expanded one of the okay let me finish this here so this lifts up and then here is your power I will wait till it suggests I do that all right the blaster has a screw hole here on the top that is going to be for the batteries all right one down one up one down and one up and that kind of has to be pushed in there's like a little hook on there that locks it in all right if you notice there is this little orange sight set here almost pinkish orangish color and there's a yellow one up here so when you're looking down it lights up from the top that's pretty neat okay so now attaching your device so here i expanded this one out all the way this would be probably the most it will go so your device needs to be within, I would say, four inches maximum to fit in there. So I will not be able to use a tablet. This phone will definitely fit in there, so I will get this one set. The tablet now I'll probably just use on the side because it's a nice addition to the video. It's a bigger screen to look at. I bet you I can get that mounted on there. This, I could extend this screw out or make a little piece there and you can show up to the battlefield with that giant screen okay that is set all right so now you have an option it looks like you have a right side or left side i guess it really depends on what you're comfortable with i kind of will set this one up i guess on the left side okay and then you could also change the angle you want it too. It's got one of these little things, but that's it. I think your options are very limited depending on, actually, that is the only way. So you have one way, so you can't change or adjust the angle on that. I was thinking they would give it to you with the notch that you can move it around slightly, but you cannot. Okay, so I have it on the right side, all right. And now I will definitely need to finish getting the batteries in this one. And then I will come back when that is set and I should be able to power everything on. Okay, so I put in my sensors. They just clip in down here. As you can see, I am about to download both games. And this worked out good putting this on the right side. I guess that really depends on which hand you shoot with. And then the only thing I think is... What if you're trying to shoot over something and you can't see your screen? So it'd be nice if this tilted down so you can change it. But maybe there's a reason. You know, I'm not really doing a full play here. So let's see what we got. Open this one. Open this one. 
Allow, allow, allow. Okay, going to record my audio. Headphones are highly encouraged. Always remember to be aware of your surroundings when playing recoil. Okay, so we have an agree on both screens. Let me do this though. I'm not sure if my volume, well, I'll tell you what, let me leave the volume down on this one and see if we can get some volume up on this one. So we're not having competing volumes here. Agree? Agree. Okay, input name. I'm gonna put, oh, wait here. Enter a profile name. All right, we're gonna put uh, LPS1 in this one. All caps, LPS dash one. Okay, I'll wait to continue on that. And we'll put this one as L P S. Oh, I'm not sure. I don't normally use this here. How do I get? Oh, semantics. What is that? Dash back to elf, and we'll put this one as two. Okay. Continue. Press the power button and wait for the green light. Okay, so grab the recoil. Press the power button and wait for the green light. Got it. So that is flashing. Tap power, okay, hit next. Extend antenna. Did that, I jumped the gun on that. For the best results, elevate the game hop three to five feet off the ground. Okay, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Turn off power saving on your device, power saving mode may prevent connection to the Wi-Fi game hub. I'm going to have to skip through that because I don't know what that setting is on right now. Airplane mode. Turn on airplane. Okay, so turn on airplane mode, which is what you normally wouldn't do on your device. Call Cell data usage may prevent connection to the Wi-Fi game hub. Okay, so I have to do that. Let me do that on both devices and then come right back. Okay, here we go. They're both at the same point now. This one says... Turn on airplane mode, which we did Sweet. now. Connect to the game hub using your phone's Wi-Fi connection. Okay, connect to the game hub. All right. Let's see. Let's go to settings. Let's see. Recoil game hub right there. Open. Connect. Okay. So let's get back out of here. Let's go back to here. Let's do that with this one here. Hold on a second. Yes. And if you have multiple people doing this, then it'll probably go much quicker. Let's go back to Wi-Fi on this one. And then we have to, of course, turn Wi-Fi back on. And then there is the game hub on that one. Okay. And then connect. Okay, that is connected. So let's get out of here. Let's go back to here. Next, Wi Fi, it's checking on that one now. This one says good. Okay, so I have this one. Press the power button and wait for the green light. Okay, got it. Click next on this one. Okay, Bluetooth permission. Yes, I don't think I have Bluetooth on that one. I don't normally leave it on. Searching. 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 All right, let me see if I have Bluetooth on this one. Connecting, Press connecting, success. Verify that your weapon is properly connected. Okay, I will verify in just a second, sir. Give me a second. Oh, I don't want that. You know how the screens move so fast sometimes? Your Bluetooth connection not allowed. Bluetooth on. Okay. Well, let's get back out of here. I mean, you're going to have to go through this, right? Oh, push power button. Let's see. I didn't do it on this one. Let's turn it. Okay, that one's on now. So hopefully that'll catch up. Pull trigger to continue. Oh, so did you see that there? All right. 
Pull trigger to continue. Okay, the sound is off on that one, remember. Okay, so now I have both set. Hmm. Let's see. Battle. Oh, by the way, these were, oh, that's done, were targets. They are called AR, tar, AR tags for indoor play. Replacement AR tags can be downloaded on www.theworldsnowgame, worlds, world ls, now game. Hmm, I'm going to have to check that. I'll put that up on the screen. It's a little unique on the URL. And that's what those are. So how they're used, I don't know yet. Continue. Let's see. The power on your game hub to reboot it. Okay, reboot it. It's flashing. When flashing green LED turns off, tap power button. Okay. To restart. Okay, continue. Connect to Game Hub using your phone's Wi-Fi. That's what we want to do. Yes, maybe it's still waiting to go solid on that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on over here. I'm just clicking next. I don't know if it's... I did turn on Bluetooth. Okay. Battle there. Continue. Battle. What happens now? We all set? Connect weapon up there. Let's see. Ooh. I think we're connected. Yeah, we're good. Okay, this one does not want to go into battle. Let's see. Next, next. This one's struggling here. I've got to figure out what's going on. I've done all that. Alright, so let me get this resynced up, make sure I got everything right, and then I'm going to figure out going into battle. Okay, I am at a standstill with this one. This will not let me go any further. I did figure out that voice communication is done by tapping this, but have not been able to figure that out. So this will be the host one. A battlefield scenario. Let's do indoor skirmish. Tap the confirm battle mode button to continue. Okay, so we could change the time. Score limit, five kills, 10 kills. Okay, so you have options there up to, wow. A hundred kills maximum. Well, besides unlimited. Confirm. You are joining a battlefield scenario. Okay, there's LPS one up there. That is at least connecting to that one. Okay, for whatever reason, this device is not letting me go any further. And it just could be whatever. Well, I'm not sure exactly. So this one is set. It should fire, right? I thought this one. Yeah, it's connected. So something is going on here. So I need to switch to a completely different device now on this side. I'll be back. All right, I'm slowly getting back into this. This is what I was using. And now I've switched to the least expensive phone we have in the house. Um, so I reset it up as LPS2. Press the power button and wait for the green light. Okay, we've done all that. Done all that. For the best results, elevate the game hub three to five feet off the ground. I've done all the Wi-Fi settings. Bluetooth is on. Congratulations, you are connected. Okay, let's see. I'm using this one here. Press the power button and wait for the green light. Got it. Bluetooth connection, application, okay, you allow. So if you're wondering if a phone, well this phone, but I had to delete things on this phone to actually get it so that I can install. It's like 75 megabytes and this phone is very limited on storage space. So I had to actually delete some things to get it to work. Okay, we're good there. Now let's see if we can get into the battle. Okay, so now we want to join this one. Let's look. Oh, LPS2 just joined over there. Okay, that's good. Accept. So now we're working as uh, uh, at the same time on the same Wi-Fi. GPS tracking disabled. GPS power-ups disabled. Respawn on a timer. Infinite reloads. 
So I wonder if you can click these to... Nope, okay, so this is just telling you. Next. Next. Place the game hub in the center of the battlefield. When ready, stand next to it and tap the screen to set its location. Okay, we've done all that. Move to a suitable area to set base GPS locations. Ready. Loading. We might have it. Ah, the battle is on. Drop behind enemy lines with multiple threats okay. in your vicinity. Treat all targets as hostile. Okay. I like the sound of that. Okay, we're this guy here. We should be attached, but here. Incoming enemy fire. Ooh, did you see that? Ooh, did you feel that? You didn't feel that. I did. He's killed. But this has a. You could tell there's something going on here that's moving this in and out. Reload out of ammo. So press the bottom to reload. That takes time. Did you notice that? Incoming enemy fire. Let's see. I'm aiming completely away from this guy. Okay, so you got to hide behind things. Cause this is totally in the opposite direction. Nice work. Target eliminated. Yeah. Killed. Okay. Sorry. Reloading. I've respawned. So he is out. Looks like. Reloading. All right. I'm going to go across the room now and see how far. I'm going to step back. Way back. Oh, sorry. I'll eliminate him again. So I'm about 20 feet back. Reloading number one here. Okay, so I can reload. I was way away from my device too, so the Bluetooth was still sinking there. Okay, that is pretty interesting. You have been killed. Well, not that I've been killed. Okay, he's reloading. Okay, so we're both respawn. Remember, it's unlimited kills, so until you guys decide, hey, I'm going to stop playing or exit out. That looks like an exit out. Game menu, are you sure you want to exit? Yes. Okay, so that just disconnected both. Did you see that? That's why I'm trying to... You finished in second place. Okay, because of the number of kills, and they show you right here on this screen, LPS 2, 3 to 2, 2 to 3... Looks like that is what's going on. All right, I'm going to do one more thing. I will come right back. Okay, I am back. This is what I was thoroughly confused about. I cannot find any information in the booklet here, just a little bit here. I think I might have called them targets, but the AR tags for indoor play had to go to the website. And then there it said in the frequently asked questions that it's for indoor future updates to the game so you can't really do anything with these right now that i know of at least it says that on the website the website also gives you a list of devices so if you're not sure if your devices will work go check that out now this is a very inexpensive device and an expensive device and they've been working great and i've had no issues with these two devices now let me just do uh, an outdoor battle and show you the differences here. You can start a battle or join a current scenario. Okay, so let's do a skirmish, but this is outdoor skirmish. Confirm. Join. This is the player lobby. Now we're both in there. See how easy that is. Accept. Set location. Start. Ready, trooper. The battle's about to begin. Two minutes remaining. Okay, those were synced up pretty good time-wise. Okay, so now you have an inventory. So let's say I think maybe grenades or other guns will show up there. You can switch. I don't know. And then this was like a distance. It looks like a distance tracker. I'm not sure. Let me move around with this one here. It did change there. It says 17 feet. That one went red. So you can reload even if you have seven shots or one shot, it'll automatically reload. 
Now my distance is not changing. Okay, that is so cool, and they have such a nice... Let's go to the other battle mode and see real quick. I think I'd have to play with a little bit more to understand the screens. You finished in second place. Let's go back to battle. Let's see, we're just going to push it to the... Team. Confirm. Battle. Oh, look at that. Color screen change now. You can start a battle or join a current scenario. Trooper, this is the player alive. Oh, look at that. Once they join, so now we're both there. Tap confirm when ready. And it says to balance the game, drag and drop players across teams. Oh, I can pick LPS1 up and move them, but with only two players, it's not going to let me go. Let me just accept. Ready. Get ready, Trooper. The battle's about to begin. Let's see. I think if you hit that one ready and it's two ready, then set here, they should sync up pretty good. It's off by just a millisecond. Drop behind enemy lines with multiple threats in your vicinity. Okay, so it shows the kills up there. I didn't see that at the beginning. Let's see, location. 17 feet, solid red line there. I'd have to figure that out. So there's nothing else on the screen I could actually... Oh, did you see that? You can reload on the screen. Okay, and it seemed to work quicker. Hold on. Oh no, reload is quicker. Look at that. Okay. I am done playing. I am all set. The game, this game's almost over, so let me exit out. I Hopefully I was able to clarify some things and help you, uh, you know, understand it a little bit better. It is cool that such an inexpensive phone will work with an expensive phone. Again, the list is on the website of uh, most devices that work, but this is probably not on that list, so, and it still works. And that's about it. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. And if you want to see more cool videos like this, especially toy guns, I have a huge playlist of those. Look in that description. There will be a playlist link there. Or you can search LuckyPennyShop.com. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.